Hi, this is Trip. Welcome to my channel. I hope that you're being safe out there and healthy and taking care of yourself and others. Today I'm going to read about, I'm going to go through my shopping list. A recent one. I have my glasses standing by in case I need them. In fact, I just realized that they're not even. Look at those two. One side, this side is higher than the other one. So I need to have these checked. And I've had these for maybe 10 or 15 years, who can remember? I have my calculator to verify some of these totals. And without further ado, we shall begin. This is uh, from Publix, which is where I do most of my, most of my grocery shopping. Oh, how do you like my new, my new little jacket? I hope it's not too noisy. Okay, this is kind of a, a bigger shopping list than usual. I have some bounty paper towels here. Two rolls, $4.69. Greenwise napkins, $2.29. Cucumbers, I think I got two of them, 89 cents total. Green bell peppers, 40 cents a pound, or they were. This is from a couple of weeks ago. At a dollar sixty-nine cents a pound, so it was fifty-eight, fifty-eight cents. I think I would have gotten one bell pepper. Oh goody, I saved thirty-two cents. Okay. Sweet potatoes. They're two dollars and eighty-four cents a pound. And no, two dollars eighty two point eighty four pounds at a dollar forty nine cents a pound. So that was four dollars and twenty three cents. You can compare these prices with what you pay, or at least what I paid two weeks ago. Cherub tomatoes, the little tomatoes in the little uh, little red container that you that you pull the little paper out of the, the top is a little hole there and and there are your tomatoes. Four dollars and ninety-nine cents. Organic blueberry blueberries. I got one package and that was three dollars and ninety-nine cents. I bought some Publix drinking water. You should try to find the cheapest drinking water if you believe in, in paying for water at all. Frankly, yeah, the water out of the tap, we have a little, we have a little filter on the tap there, on the bottom, you know, that turns like that. And to me, that's good enough. The local drinking water has been tested okay. Okay, it's my wife that likes to, to buy the bottled drinking water. I think it's a waste of money. So at least if I buy it, it's going to be the cheapest I can find. Some of it goes from like 68 cents. I mean, what is it? I guess it would be 0 0.68. I can't remember. 0 0.68 cents per ounce up to like a dollar fifty. I mean, one one point. I'm all confused by the math. But anyway, the numbers I see on the on the bottles are like 0.68 up to 1.5. I guess that's maybe cents per ounce. Okay. Math is not my strong point. People used to say, oh, well, you're an accountant. So you must be really good at math. No. Accounting is more about logic and rules. Okay, too much time spent on the water. 
So recapping, just buy the cheapest water you can if you want to buy it at all or just use what's in the tap. Most places you'll be fine. That can speak only about the, the tap water, the water in, in Georgia. I don't know about other countries or other places. So I paid 60, no, 80, 86 cents for this, this uh, bottle of, yeah, for this uh, bottle of water or gallon of water. Lysol wipes, five dollars and fifteen cents. Uh, skinless drumsticks, four dollars and ninety-three cents. And those I take and I and I put uh, barbecue sauce on them. Uh, I buy one of those a week. Mm, what else do we have here? Strawberries, one package for a dollar fifty-seven. I'm sorry, a dollar sixty-seven. They're actually three for five dollars. How does that come out? That's five divided by three equals one sixty-seven. So you really don't save anything by by buying three instead of one. So I don't understand that kind of pricing. You're not saving anything if you buy if you buy more. And the more you buy, the more likely they can they can become stale and you have to throw them out. Uh, by the way, I hope you will consider subscribing to the channel and comment, like the video if you will. Where are Oh, it says I saved three dollars and thirty-two cents on those strawberries. I think that's an error in the programming. Okay, Publix corn, corn on the cob, three dollars and nineteen cents for a package. They're packages of like halves. I think there were maybe like twelve in a package. Maybe I should show you all some of these kinds of foods if I do these, if I do many of these price videos. I, I hadn't planned to do any more than this one, but uh, let's see, okay. Uh, Tide powder, $10.99. I remember at one time I was hearing stories of people stealing the Tide. I don't know if it was because of some kind of stupid drug use or if it was because it was so valuable that was a couple years ago uh, spaghetti two different kinds of, of, of thin spaghetti a dollar and 69 cents each I wonder why they didn't show them grouped together like like 169 would be something like 169 times 2 equals 1 times 2, $3.38. But instead it listed them each separately. Hmm, okay. Activia Fruit Fusion. That's um, just yogurt. And those were two for five dollars. I bought only one package, so we don't even need. That's obvious. Five divide five dollars divided by two. No, no. Yeah, that's right. It's two dollars and a half. Hmm. So I got only one package. It looks like two dollars and fifty cents. It says I saved 32 cents. Okay. Cereal. Post grain cereal. By the way, things like spaghetti and, and cereals, things like that last a pretty long time. When you buy perishables like 
like a bread and fruits, those don't last very long at all. So maybe it's maybe you should buy some some frozen fruits in those little packages. And I also did that yesterday. Like I said, this price this price list was from two weeks ago. Okay, so great grain cereal, one of my favorite healthy cereals. The other cereals I like better, like Cocoa Krispies, for instance. I love that. But it's not so healthy as as great grains. And that was three dollars and eighty nine cents, but there was a promotion. So it was three eighty nine minus one ninety five. Minus one ninety five. So that cost me a dollar ninety four cents. Well, that means it was half price. Cheerios. Healthy cereal, not a, not a lot of sugar in there. Uh, Four dollars and nineteen cents, and the, another promotion. It was half price, so I paid two dollars and ten cents for it. And here's another Cheerios, paid two dollars and ten cents. What's this? Uh, well, I need my glasses after all. Not even. Oh. Oh. French vanilla. It's a kind of a cream of some kind. And my wife likes that. I don't like like milk products except for ice cream. And that was two dollars and sixty nine cents. Sweet peas in cans. And this was, remember, things in cans can last a real long time. This was a two for a. Hmm. Oh, it was a package of 70. So there was another promotion, so it cost me only 73 cents. Some Newman's. Paul Newman's sauce, spaghetti sauce, and uh, this money, when you buy this sauce, apparently it goes to charity. I don't remember which charity. And that's for the spaghetti, of course. $3.49. Wheat thins, Nabisco wheat thins. These things are like, they're, they're addictive. They probably should be banned. They're pretty healthy. Uh, whole wheat. See, you can buy two for five dollars. I bought only one and it's a two dollars and fifty cents a promotion of some kind. Those things keep a pretty good, they last a pretty good while unless you eat them up. Blueberries, three dollars and ninety-nine cents. Another, another blueberries. Some organic Gala apples. Some people pronounce it gala. So, two for five dollars. I bought one. No, I bought. Yeah, I bought one. Two dollars and fifty cents. Salmon fillet. You must have this at least twice a week. And this is five dollars and sixty-six cents. It says I saved a dollar and eighty-nine cents. I don't know. So the salmon I like to I don't fry it and put it in the oven and kinda kinda grill it like that sorta. Of. And I put uh, old bay old bay on it and uh, sea salt, little sea salt, just plain pepper and nutmeg. I think that I said nutmeg. Golly, I can't even. And twice a week I do this, right? Let's see. Old Bay nutmeg. Hmm. And a senior moment. Okay. So, you have five dollars and sixty-six cents. 
and that's for about about half a pound. And what is this Pillsbury Crescents? The little teeny crescents, I believe they are about four in a little round container. And I got one, two, two of those, and those were a dollar fifty nine cents each. And then Publix milk, whole milk. Normally I would buy the fat free. I just pick whatever lasts the longest now. It was only a dollar and five cents. It was a little container like that. And if you see my, if you see my, my, my uh, cereal videos, I don't use a lot of milk. So I just pick the, the, the milk, the newest milk that lasts the longest. And that was the total of everything. I will now attempt to add these up while you enjoy just the sound of the calculator. Two, twenty-nine. Well, plus my voice, I guess. I can add better if I if I call the number out to myself. Eighty-nine. And now, uh, what's that? 58 plus 423, 499, 396. Please, Lord, don't let me mess up, mess up on this. 493, 167. 319. This looks right so far. 1099. 169. 169. Again, going once, going twice. Sold. 250. 389. Uh -oh, I have to minus out that 195. Minus 195 plus 419 minus 210 plus 419 minus 209 again. I was on that Cheerios plus 499 plus. Two six nine plus seven three plus three forty nine plus two fifty. We're coming to the end. Patience. Oh, minus three ninety nine plus two five. Uh, I remember that three ninety nine. She rang up the blueberries. Two packages. And then she did, the cashier discovered one of them was just had a little tiny bad place on it that I missed when I examined them. So she backed out that expense, the price of one package. I really appreciated that. I did. 586. She could have just sold it to me. 399. 159. Plus 159. Plus 105, and that's the end. The total on here should be $96.01. And the total I have is, jeez. Can you see that? I was off by five dollars. I know where it happened. I think it was with something to do with the fish or the cereal. I don't know. So yeah, that included the the food tax. I, I think I did that one. Anyhow, that's about it for today, and I hope that you enjoyed the video. And 
you can compare this with with prices in your local area but you can't now because this was the shopping list was two was two weeks old I need to do another one okay it was maybe like a it was a week old yeah that's the date it was a week old so we'll see it was a, like how many days is that it was like a eight days old so I wish you the best take care of yourself take care of others and this is Tripp saying peace out